Um, hello, uh, my name is Electra KB and I am a, a pig person. I personally follow uh, Esther the Wonder Pig online and I can follow uh, whatever she eats, uh, whatever mood she's in. So um, I think uh, it's, uh, it's, the, it's a new trend. <laughs> um, I am an artist I'm based in Brooklyn and uh, I'm from Colombia. Um, I would like to show you first a trailer of my short film titled The Accidental Pursuit of the Stateless. It's two minutes long. Uh, it's, a, it's a shorter version of the uh, short film that was exhibited here uh, in New York this past fall. And uh, then I'll talk about gifts. Will it be possible to turn off the lights? The TROG state officials and its dissidents are surveilling the universe. Okay, so uh, the short trailer you just saw was inspired uh, by a um, um, Colombian former political prisoner that emigrated to Berlin as a refugee in the late 90s. Um, I use the language of uh, what you can call sci-fi uh, and um, a little bit of humor to um, address uh, my concerns. And I also use images uh, appropriated from the web. Um, my my mediums of work are my all my work is performative, but I do work uh, as uh, Anna was saying. I do uh, work a lot with textile. I work with video. I work with GIF, and I I do say GIF. <laughs> uh, I work with uh, uh, photography and installation. Um, the loop that that you see playing uh, it's a selection. Uh, I, I should thank uh, Patty Johnson, uh, who commissioned these uh, particular gifts uh, for the show she's curating. And uh, it's the first time I see her in person, but uh, thanks to her and to uh, Anna McCarthy, um, I'm here today. So um, 
I work using a utopia slash dystopia mythology construct as a platform. It is a world called the Theocratic Republic of Gaia, and its rebel counterparts are the Catharas, a realm that exists in a parallel universe interconnected with our world. For me, a GIF is a world inside a world. The internet is in itself a parallel universe. People get married, talk, shop, hire killers, buy weapons, and have sex in this parallel universe. It is a mistake to think of it as an extension of our material world. The internet is a world by itself, with its own government regulated order, with its own insurgency, and with its own currency. I'm talking about the hyper surveilled surface with its army of bots, the deep web, the dark net, and Bitcoin. The GIFs are a low resolution, poor image, and using the language my former professor, artist Hito Steil, from her essay in defense of the poor image, I would say that the GIF, as other poor images, are the lumpen proletarian in the class society of appearances, ranked and valued according to its resolution. In an increasing high technological society of disposable and insatiable thirst for the latest technological advancements, value is placed over glossy, hyper-real, Hollywood-esque aesthetics. The GIF is the destruction of that, but is also an immediate high, offering instant gratification. The GIF is the desire for the immediate and easily accessible. It is a byproduct of democratic capitalism. As Tocqueville said, humans in democracy have a taste for immediate pleasure and indolent ambition. In his book, Democracy in America, Tocqueville talked about how people in the newly formed democratic society would prefer to read summaries or instruction manuals instead of books, how everything had to provide immediate satisfaction. He talked about the loss of pleasure introspection and contemplation in the high arts, literature and music, and its replacement by all their digested, transformed, synthesized versions of themselves to produce the most gratification in the least amount of time. The GIF, it's used both subversively and by corporations. It is truly populist. It is a new tool of communication, not only used by a means of marketing, but as a tool to express emotions, as a tool to spread censored pornography, and as a tool for protest, where news that are also censored are spread across. It is a microcosm inside a microcosm, compressed in a few seconds that runs rampantly. A GIF is an easy tool that any individual can use to appropriate what society wants to hide and make it viral. It could be a woman's nipple or a bomb attack. The GIF is exciting, it is creative and cheap. It is liked by everybody, the porn fan, the artist, the teenager, your mom and my mom. It is a little bit like tofu. It takes any flavor you put to it. It can taste like anything. I see a world where video is being replaced by the GIF, where YouTube becomes obsolete, where images are circulated faster and faster, more democratically and free. I see a future where these might be repressed and controlled too, but right now we can roll wild with them. Um, so I, uh, with the time uh, restrictions we have, I've prepared a selection of these four GIFs. Uh, they are in the realm of the Theocratic Republic of Gaia, which is the parallel universe uh, that was revealed to me. And as I say, um, there is a connection uh, between this parallel universe and the GIF because I see uh, the Internet um, as, a, as a world inside our world, as I see this world. And I see these GIFs as uh, portals to that universe. Uh, the, the GIF on the left uh, of the nebulosa has the um, emblem of the Cathara insurgency, who are the rebels on the Theocratic Republic of Gaia. Uh, the one on the right is the, um, the Cathara warriors, who are dancing warriors and are shooting rainbows. Uh, the one on the left, it's actually... Um, there are these flying uter uteruses that I, that I appropriated from the web, from a website of a doctor. Uh, he had these pictures of uteruses and I uh, animated it and I made them flying. And uh, this realm, um, as uh, 
I think it was said in the trailer, um, it the world it's akin to pre-Columbian territory. So um, it is a fantasized version of uh, Mayan and and Aztec um, worlds, precisely on this particular one. And uh, this uh, an uh, this another version of a Cathara insurgent, and she's uh, throwing up. Uh, Thread. So she's in a state of catharsis, uh, and it symbolizes uh, everything that women have repressed uh, through history. And talking about cats, I she's vomiting this yarn because I specifically thought about um, this being symbolized as a furball inside a cat, and uh, everything you repress starts uh, growing and growing and growing, uh, and then you have to start that process of, of catharsis, of uh, returning it. And I also saw there was a lot of flying penises online, and I started Googling flying vagina, flying uterus, and there were no flying ones, so I really wanted <laughs> flying uterus. Um, okay, uh, the last one um, is um, colibris, mockingbird. Uh, I, hummingbird. <laughs> I don't know the word in English. Okay, uh, this also, uh, I mean, I as, as you are, Seeing, I work with uh, images that, that I film, that I perform, that are documentations of, of research uh, I do. And, uh, and I intersect them with uh, images I appropriate online. So this uh, hummingbird is uh, appropriated from the web as well. Um, these are all uh, bits that are on the same thread of, as, the, uh, as the film I was telling you about, The Accidental Pursuit of the Stateless. And uh, these are all silly things for me. So this silly thing is just this about this um, hummingbird um, being eaten by this Cathara insurgent, and then um, the hummingbird eats her in return. Um, so lastly, um, I will show you um, I will show you another bit of uh, the accidental pursuit of the stateless. This is just a minute long. Uh, well, those were my 15 minutes by clock. Uh, should we finish here? Should I show more? Okay, okay, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.